Hi, this is Dreamline Studio, and today we're going to learn how to create um, an image with some transparency, with a transparent background. Um, yeah, this is a basic tutorial, but I still get emails with people asking me how to create um, uh, an image that has some transparency behind it. So you, you're able to import this in programs like uh, After Effects and Flash and, and so forth. Um, one of the main reasons why you want a um, an image with with some transparency in it is so you can um, add other elements uh, behind it, um, like video or or imagery. And I'll create some tutorials on how to do that um, uh, later on. But let's first get the image ready for uh, transparency. So I, I have this open in Photoshop, and here's my layers. Sometimes this will say background. Um, if it does, what you do is you double click on it until it says layer zero. Um, you, that's, that is a uh, key. Uh, make sure that doesn't say background. Uh, double click on it so that it turns into um, layer zero. Once, once that happens, um, you want to pick out the spots where you want transparency. In this, in this case, I want the, uh, the white areas to be uh, see-through or transparent. So what I do is um, I grab the uh, the wand, uh, the magic wand, and I will select uh, this area right in here. Uh, sometimes what you can do is um, you can do um, you can do the uh, let's see, select select similar. Sorry about that. Um, but what will, hap what will happen is if you do that, it will select um, all the ranges of, of the white. Um, and you don't want to do that. So um, control D and manually select the parts that you want transparent. So in this case, I will select uh, this. Um, uh, make sure you hold down the shift for multiple selection on your keyboard. So shift. Um, so there we got uh, this windshield and this part of the window and that window and all you do at this point simply is uh, hit delete okay so now um, you'll see this checkerboard uh, pattern in the background that means this part is transparent um, control D to deselect now what we're going to do is we're going to export this um, uh, graphic um, and make this uh, part stay transparent um, for any other program like uh, Flash or After Effects or, or, or things like that. Um, so we're going to go to File. We're going to go for Save for Web and Devices. Okay, we have that. Um, we're going to pick, uh, it's already preset to PNG24 and make sure that this is selected for transparency. Um, and just go ahead and save um, and that will save your image um, you save that to your desktop or whatever you want to do but there you go that's pretty much what you have to do to create an image with transparency thanks